Hello, ladies. Bobby Boy Chanel here. I want to uh, touch on and give my thoughts to uh, the Misia. Misia. Misia from the Chanel exclusive line. It's this one. And I uh, wore this the other week and got my first uh, serious thoughts on it. Real short here, this is, I don't have experience with this. This doesn't belong here. This is the full set. And if you looked at this closely, I'm missing uh, this box set, this coiffure, coiffure set is missing uh, 57 and boy, I believe. But uh, it's just, uh, I love it. It's great to have. And it's my study. This is uh, introduced in 2015 or 16, straight into the EDP line. So there's no previous, I'm pretty sure, I may be wrong. There's no previous EDT to this. So uh, Super DeCobb cannot, uh, cannot rank on this because I don't think there's, a, I don't think that guy's my nemesis, man just shits all over, excuse me, he, all over the exclusive EDPs, you know, and uh, in some ways I think some of them are improved. Now, my point being with, let's see, yeah, I don't have it on my finger here. If you love the Chanel, the Chanel Aid, the makeup baggy, Oris Iris, signature of a lot of these okay especially Rue Cambon right and it's in Chanel number five and it's in 22 right and it's in Bois de Zille. um you go down the line you know beige is pretty mainstream it's in Queer, Queer de Russie I think this is a little overly feminine for me, or else I would have a big boy bottle of this. But that's uh, it's another subject. But Mezi is different. It has all that. It's got the makeup bag, Oris, Iris, waxy. Okay, there's the other. But it's strong in fruits, which makes it stand out with this. It's heavier. You could... It, it, It'll bring you into fall and winter. Lovely to wear Misia uh, in a formal event. Not so casual for you uh, beautiful girls wearing a gown. Even uh, even classy casual. I can really smell the lychee, and being where from I being from where I am. Uh, I live in the islands here for the last 20 years. I know lychee very much. It's a very premium fruit from a tree, tropical. It's delicious, the flesh. And then the other ones that are mentioned, I do get the peach and the berries. All three of those. It's it's fruity strong. So add those fruits, especially the lychee, which is very exotic, to your... Uh, Heavy makeup, waxy Chanel, aldehydic base, and you're gonna get Misia. And uh, without a doubt, um, if you're a big Chanel fan and wearer, uh, this is a try. Um, and especially if you like uh, the fruity floral. But you're going to have to like the uh, waxy Horus Iris, right? But if you like an abundance of fruit, especially at the top, and, and I'm talking berries and, and uh, lychee, think of a, a kind of a pink, reddish fruit feeling. Um, give, get a sample of Misia, all right? And uh, give it a couple of wears, like... Uh, at least uh, two or three good wares 
all right, maybe three or four wares. Um, and see how you feel about it. I think it lasts long. I'm not totally sure on that, but when I when I wore it last week, I had to scrub it off. And um, it dries down to more of the Chanel powdery base, still with the uh, fruit nuances, but the fruit's very strong uh, in the opening and more in the mid. But uh, I'm not sure about this. I, I don't think I'd wear this a lot myself. I like it. If I smell it too close in the beginning, it, uh, you know, it's headachey, which a lot of these are. These are not meant to, uh, a lot of these, or most of them, especially the ex less exclusives, aren't meant to uh, smell with your nose right up to your skin and breathing it in. It's, uh, it's, for, it's for your sillage, the air, um, as you walk by and someone's talking to you. That's, that's what Chanel's all about. And I think many great perfumes, if you bury your nose in it, it's, you know, headache is a, not a bad thing. I mean, it's gonna come, if you do it to most perfumes, if you, if, if you really take it in. But the projection and sillage with most of these Chanel's is, is without competition, it's, it's different. And uh, feminine overall to me and special. There's, there's nothing like it, right? It's uh, like Dior's can be a punch in the face, kind of beautiful. Ooh, I like that perfume, but not Chanel's. They're, uh, they're very subtle. And uh, they don't yell your presence. They don't yell out your presence. You smell it and you're talking to someone else and all of a sudden you, your attention is diverting. You start looking around and say, oh my God, that, that woman smelled really nice. It's kind of drive me crazy by the end of the night. But uh, you Chanel fangirls out there that haven't tried Mizia, Mizia, not Mizia, and you like fruity floral perfumes, you must like fruit, give it a try give it a wear okay so um i think you'll find out that it's something a little bit different th from the rest of this line here so and that's all uh kind of interesting i smelled it before but when i really put my attention to it i was like oh this is a little different is it leathery too maybe but i'd say you know i compare everything to rucambone i think rucambone is the study of the less exclusives it's uh it's chanel in a bottle and then some so but berries like raspberries peach i definitely get it and of course the lychee the exotic uh oriental fruit which sells for a lot per pound i had a chinese artist friend who would, who would give us uh, bags of it for free and uh we were so grateful and I'd say, uh, hey, go, hey, Herman, can we buy this uh, more off you? He'd go, no, this is very expensive. Go to Chinatown, pay pay a lot. But uh, if you have a lychee tree on your front lawn here in Hawaii, you are loving life. You have a lot of friends. So um, get your nose on it. Get your nose on that fruit. Taste the fruit. Um, and uh, check out Amicia on the Les Exclusives. Let me know. Bye-bye.